Friday. It's Friday, March 7th, 2008. Hello, everybody! It's Angel again. And this would be my third video, except for that first week, which I didn't get done. So this is actually my second video. Um, happy World of Prayer Day! Yay! It's also a uh, middle name Pride Day. So, take pride in your middle names. I don't take pride in mine because I don't like it, but, you know, it's, it's my mom's choice. So, <sighs> yes, okay, anyways, um, one of my challenges in the first part of the video was Caitlyn's. I had to write out Caitlyn Rocks with condiments, but I also wrote Angel Rocks Harder because it's true. And Caitlyn knows it and she's just in denial. Okay, my second challenge from Kelly is, uh, I had to name one of my heroes. <coughs> Actually, I uh, was thinking about it and I wrote out a big long thing about all of my heroes. And it's, this video is probably going to be longer than five minutes, but, oh well. Alright, my biblical heroes. Moses. I relate to Moses a lot because of the fact that he was very scared when he was talking to Pharaoh and the people, and he tried to make up excuses for a lot why he couldn't do certain things. He was also a very bad public speaker, and sometimes I find that I am exactly like that. I believe in God and Jesus and everything, but sometimes it's hard for me to talk to others about Christ because of the fact that I am not a good public speaker. I am an excellent writer, but when I'm speaking, it's like my brain freezes up, and I've done that a couple times on camera. <coughs> I do not want to talk to people about Christ because I don't think I'm very prepared. I'm not the kind of Christian that has a scripture verse to back up everything I say. In fact, I haven't even read the entire Bible. So I always feel unprepared. But then I know that if I talk to someone, even if I mess up a bunch and don't have scripture, I've planted the seed. It's my job as a Christian to preach the word and tell others about Christ. It's not my job to convert anyone. That's God's job. My second biblical hero is Paul. Um, he wrote the book of Corinthians, Galatians, Romans, all those fun books. What I love about Paul is the fact that he was a Pharisee. <coughs> uh, he, was cruel, he was a cruel Pharisee, too. He killed Christians and split up families and was horrible to Christians. And then, on one day, Jesus appeared to him, and he was blinded. After witnessing the power of Christ, Paul became a Christian and was a radical Christian. He went on four different missionary journeys all around the Western world and preached or Eastern world, not Western world. By the way, 16 times 4 is 64, not 48. I'm sorry, I don't know what I was doing. I had four hours of sleep last week, and my brain was just fried. I got a 24 on the ACT, so I'm really not that stupid. But and My superheroes are Spider-Man, Flash, and Danny Phantom. Awesome cartoon on, on uh, Nickelodeon. Okay, heroes I know. Um, Kelly, who is Monday, is one of my heroes because she's helped me with some of the stuff in my life. And even though she's not perfect, she has a true love for Christ and tries to be like him all the time. <clears throat> I really look up to, her, to Kelly, and not just because she's taller than me, because she's such a good person and I love her. My youth group. Kids in my youth group are my heroes because when I move to where I live now, I didn't have a youth group to go to or anything, so I went to this particular one. Again, not going to say any names for privacy reasons. I started out in middle school, and I didn't particularly like it, but once I reached high school, everyone made me feel so welcome. They are probably a prime, prime example of showing Christ's love to new people. They made me feel so welcome and loved that I keep going back. And finally, last but not least, my parents. My parents are my heroes for a number of reasons. My mom and dad have worked so hard to give me and my brother a good life, better than what they had. My mom has homeschooled me and my brother for six years now, and she's a very good teacher. Even when she's had to work two jobs at a time, she's always had time, made time for me and Josh. My dad works all the time to keep us in a house with the stuff we have now, like cable or internet. He's been a very good spiritual leader in our household and, along with my mom, has encouraged me and supported me with everything I do. So, those are my heroes. Um, you can punish me if this video is longer than five minutes. I don't care. Uh, by the way, <laughs> Shelby and Caitlin, <laughs> I'm so sorry you guys got punished. I really, I had nothing to do with that. I didn't even know you were getting punished. Okay, um, uh, challenges for this week. Whoever I pick has to wrap up their whole head 
in toilet paper like a mummy. And I don't mean one little strand here and there. I mean the, your entire head leaving room for only your eyes and your mouth. Your whole head has to be wrapped up in toilet paper. So, who am I going to pick? It's... Kelly, you got picked again! Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry! Oh man, <laughs> I feel so bad for you. Okay, so yeah, you have to wrap up your head like a mummy. Um, uh, other than that, well, yeah, let's see, I do have something else to talk about. Uh, I'm doing this thing called the 30 hour famine tonight with me and my youth group and it's going on until tomorrow night and <clears throat> what it is is there's this uh, this organization called World Vision that provides food um, and shelter and things like that for kids over in third world countries that don't have the things that we have here and um, they have this thing called 30 hour famine where it's basically a fundraiser that you help raise money for the kids overseas and thirty dollars if you raise thirty dollars will feed one kid for one month and um so to while we're doing this thing we actually i have to stop eating at twelve thirty today and i won't get to eat again until six thirty tomorrow um six thirty p.m tomorrow hence the thirty hour famine thing so it's like a fast thing that we do and um perfect for world of prayer day i didn't even think about that but yeah, we get to go to an awesome Christian concert tonight, and then we're going to do like a little mini Amazing Race thing, and uh, service projects, and uh, lots of cool stuff like that. So, and I get to spend the night at a church. Yay! Um, alright, Angel's Weird Science Fact of the Day is... Oh, okay, I've got one. Um, did you know that a bolt of lightning can be 50,000 degrees Fahrenheit? or five times hotter than the surface of the sun. People still have lived through that too. Okay, uh, I guess that's all I have for today, so I'll see you all next week.